welcome back to another channel you guys i was just thinking right now my sister already left to her date but um it's been years since i've recorded in this room like since what is it two or three years ago that i would just come in my room and just do like well the beginning of my journey on youtube like it's crazy that we're here again but anyways um as you guys can see from the title we're gonna talk about how i take care of my hair my hair i just did a few pictures for the thumbnail my hair got tangled already that's the only thing about having long hair you guys is it gets tangled pretty fast um me and Britt always carry a brush with us so when we go to like it doesn't matter where we go if we have our hair straight we always carry a brush to brush our hair out because I hate the feeling of my hair being tangled it's just ill you know and then people touch your hair and then like they run your f their fingers through your hair which I don't like people touching my hair actually but when they do I want them to feel it soft you know <laughs> And like, or they're able to run their fingers through it, like, you know, que bonito pelo. <laughs> but anyways, um, some of you ladies have requested this video, you guys. So here we are. Bien bañanita, bien um, peinada. <laughs> um, first of all, you guys, shampoo and conditioner. Well, before I say anything of what I use in my hair. I'm not very picky of what I use in my hair. And hopefully I will never get to that point because my sister, she is really picky with what she does in her hair because she has a sensitive scalp. So now there's a shampoo and conditioner that she'll be using. I'm sorry, you guys. Look at that already. Okay. I'm sorry if the camera gets blurry, you guys. It needs to adjust or I'm probably moving too much. Um, but what was it? My sister needs to use a specific shampoo and conditioner for her hair. I don't. I just use Tresemme. Pantene, whatever is available to me, and not the cheapest, but I like to go to um, Sam's or Costco and get the big bottles, like just in bulk and just have it all the time because I hate having to buy shampoo and conditioner cada ratito. But I always need to have conditioner in my hair. I, you know, me puedo bañar si no hay conditioner. Like, I need to put conditioner in my hair because. Like I said, our hair being very long, it gets tangled. So what I do, now I'm going to tell you guys. What I do is before I get in the shower, I brush out my hair, no matter if it's straight. Well, you know what? If I do my hair with mousse and hairspray, I, I see I can't brush my hair out because it's, it's a lot. But if I do have my hair straight or I just haven't done my hair but I'm going to get in the shower, I like to brush my hair out. Just because it's easier when I get out of the shower. Um, it's easier to, it's not as tangled. When I use conditioner, I only put conditioner from las puntas, but like from here down, I put conditioner, not up here. Especially if I'm going to straighten my hair because then if I put conditioner up here, it's just flat and just, you know, everybody knows their own scalp and how their hair is if you put a certain amount of product or whatever. I don't like to put conditioner up here only if like I'm going to be lazy or whatever, then I'll put conditioner up here, but not para rápido or whatever. When I get out of the shower, depending if I'm going to go out, or I'm just going to be at home. This is how I'm going to go out because it's expensive. <laughs> it's called It's a 10. It does 10 things. Nurturous hair. Nurture. Nurtures your hair. Um, protects your hair from heat. The tangles helps protect hair color. Restores shine. Helps reduce frizz. Um, natural UV protection helps replace lost protein, enhances hair and natural body, helps prevent split ends. This is what, if I'm going to go out, this is what I use. Um, it's like 25 to $30 depending where you buy it. Sometimes if you get lucky, you guys, you can find this at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, what's, what are those, what else are those goods? Ross. But me and Brett, we use this since we've been using this since I can't remember. So it's like twenty-five to thirty-five dollars. Twenty-five to thirty dollars. Called it's a ten. When you get get out of the shower, you spray this on all over your hair, your roots, your puntas, before you brush your hair. You 
when you put this on you brush it you brush it when I'm not gonna go out and I'm gonna be home or I'm just or I'm not gonna straighten my hair basically I use this one the Pantene Miracle Rescue screenshot it if you like this is like if I'm not gonna go out to be honest I don't remember how much I paid for this I forget how much I pay for this, but I think it's like almost $10, I think. And it also, it has 10, 10 things. Repairs, damaged hair, moisturizes, tangles, straightens against breakage, protects color, heat protectant, softens, smooths, prevents, um, um, provides shine. To be honest, you guys, if I don't use this, like if I, if I run out of this, which means I can see anything in it. If I run out of this, you guys... And I'm going to go out and I don't have much of this. I'll just put this on. For me, it does the same thing. And it's it's less oily. No, more oily than this one, actually. This is why I don't really want to use this one. Even though it's cheaper. And I would, like, just use this because it's expensive. They basically do the same thing. But this one's more oily. And um, my hair, I have to wash it every other day especially if i'm gonna go out like i need to wash my hair and do my hair like i'm i don't know how girls do it where they go a week if that's exaggerating i don't know how long girls do go but if i'm gonna go out i need to wash my hair like it's itchy it's oily it's just i don't feel pretty and talking about feeling pretty guys getting off track i'm not going anywhere but i had to put perfume on and deodorant on which i mean everyone should at all times but nobody's gonna smell me nobody's gonna be near me right now and i'm just home recording with you guys and it's just like i don't feel pretty if i don't put perfume on like even though i'm talking to you guys like i can be like oh like <laughs> feel like the bad bitch that i am and go out but if i remember that i forgot to put perfume on me siento la más feo la más la más fea la más fea in el cuarto like if i don't have perfume on i don't feel pretty like i don't know if it's just me you guys i don't know <sighs> sorry you guys um where was i how what was i saying about smelling good if i don't wear perfume you know me siento bonita but me and brett in our purse like or in the car we'll have like our perfume and the order in the car because I don't know why it is that me and Brit always forget. But you know what? Me and Brit don't have strong odors like that. Like me and Brit, like we can shower and like I can go to sleep without putting deodorant on. And then the next morning I won't smell, you know? Like, and I don't, I know I don't smell. Like, I know I don't smell. You know how you just know that you don't smell? Because there's been people... <laughs> that out of the shower they need to put the order on because they start smelling like a damn onion within two three hours th two three minutes so they need to put the order and put lotion put perfume right out of the shower or like when they or like when they wake up in the morning you know how some people have bad breath like there's people that just have body odor when they wake up like you know what i'm going off track here where where were we okay <laughs> when i get out of the shower this is what I use. Um, I get ready, blah, blah, blah. Do my hair. Blow dry it. Oh, when I blow dry it, you guys. Well, I, I try. Antes, I used to just, right out of the shower, just blow dry it when it was really, really wet. Now, I let it air dry. And when, if I do have to blow dry it, I blow dry it with the cooling setting. The less heat you put in your hair, the the more, the less damage, obviously, you're going to do to your hair. But it, it'll help with the it growing out, with the shine, with the texture. You know, like, the less heat that you put in your hair, the better. Because there's, again, I don't know why I keep comparing. Women, I color my hair too. Let me, let me just put that out there. I color my hair too, but there's women that color their hair and bleach it and this and that and put so much heat in their hair and they look like a, a una escoba because it's so damaged and no matter what they do to their hair it just doesn't you know improve 
if you can do your hair without putting any heat in it do that don't blow dry your hair let your hair air dry and if you do have to blow dry it do it with the with the um the cooling setting and then obviously when i do my when i straighten my hair i when i'm in a hurry i'll put that 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 straightener from like 360 370 when i'm in a hurry because I needed to hurry up and get get flat. But when I'm not in a hurry, I'll have it on 200 and I'll just be straightening it, taking my time, you know, like, I don't know, does it really matter, like, the heat? Because I'm taking more time putting it over and over. You know what? The less heat in your hair, the better. Let's move on. Oh, when I'm done straightening my hair, this, this you guys, bed head after party cream. Ya ves que ya se, está, ya se me está acabando. I have this one. I really bought, my mom really bought me this one because she knows I like to use this one. This one was $10 at Marshall's or $11 at Marshall's. Did I catch it? Who knows? This one, my mom bought it at TJ Maxx. First, it was at, who knows, under the tag, the white tag, who knows how much it was. And then it was $9. And then it went down to $7. Have I bought this at the real store and, see, and you know how much it actually is at the real store? <laughs> like at Target, Walmart. I have not seen how much because I always find it. I always find this product at Marshalls, Tar Marshalls, um, Burlington, TJ Maxx. You know, all those good stores. I don't know how much it actually is, which I should probably Google it, but I'm too lazy. Y'all can go ahead and Google it. But this is for, you can put this on wet hair or dry hair. And for me, I use it because my hair sometimes be staticky, and I hate it when my hair is staticky. Like, it's because it's so long, and if I feel like it. Anyways, I put. Oh, you know what? I gotta put some on right now. Let me put this other one. A pump or two in your hand. And I didn't do my hair, so you guys can see. Let me see. You put it on top of here, you guys, for your um, for your split ends, which I need to go, I need to put hairspray in my split ends because my split ends, is it split? No, not split ends, um, flyaways. And I put it all down to the, um, can we say <laughs> To the ends, <laughs> to the ends of my hair. And it'll take the frizz away. It smells so yummy. Mm. It smells, it, to be honest, it smells like conditioner. Just like a regular Pantene, whatever, whatever conditioner. Like a fruity, like a fruity flavor. A flu, you know what I mean. And it just, I feel like it gives more shine to your hair. And it takes away the static, like the staticness. And it helps with frizz. It helps with a couple things too. I will read them to you guys, but look how small these, letter, these letters are. Yo estoy bien vieja ya que ya no puedo ver. I need to go to the eye doctor. You know you're old when you gotta go like this. <laughs> no, but for real, you guys. Anyways. But yeah, I use it for frizz because sometimes my hair be acting wild and acting wild. Anyways, that and then with my um, flyways acá arriba, you guys, and because I burnt my hair. Con el hairspray. I'm not going to put that much right now because I'm not going anywhere. But just no más para que ven. And then I don't like to put a lot of hairspray either porque I feel like my hair gets, especially with this Trust Me Extra Hulk, girl. Parece que te la envió una vaca. Um, yeah, that's how, that's what I, do. I almost fell over you guys. That would have been something. Anyways, that's what I do to my hair for um, when I'm going to get out, go out and be cry cry. But the real treatment and the real, the real of the real of this hair, you guys, which I'm not going to lie, I be on and off on it. Like, before I started doing this treatment, it was, my hair, maybe it isn't as long or as healthy as I feel it now. But my hair has always been long. If you know, you know. My hair has always been long, always been healthy. I've always used this, I've been using these products since I've been styling my hair. Like those are my my go-to um products. But this 
product that I got off of TikTok. Sorry, I don't know the user's name. Sorry, I'm taking your... But who does it? Anyways, has, especially when I burnt my hair. Look at this. When I burnt my hair, look, now I have like long bangs. It doesn't look that bad anymore. But when it was like a little plantita coming out, trying to grow itself, I was desperate. So I moved, I went on TikTok, got rosemary, got mint. I get these from Pete's. Each, each one is like, what, $2 for each one. And you can make a lot of it. You can make a lot of it. You just put like two, three stems of rosemary, two, three stems of mint in, in, a, 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 in a pot of water of like three cups, four cups, depending how much you want to make. I like to put a little bit of water and so that way it's like more rosemary than actual water, you know what I mean? And then when it's done, I put it in here and I bought these little things at the store near Black Friday, which if you're from Chicago the store over there Black Friday um, <clears throat> on Cicero by the, by Ford City Mall they have good deals you guys if you don't know about the store go to that store it's like things that re that get returned and I got a whole box of these little um, glass things can you hear and ASMR you know that? with this little dropper thing you see oh now you don't want to work on me <gasps> Maybe that's why it was so cheap and maybe that's why they returned it. Oh, ahí va, ahí va. <laughs> but I got a little box of these for like 10 of them for like $2. So I don't know where the rest of these are. But I've made rose rosemary for um for myself, for my sister, for Maddie, which I don't know if she uses it for her mom. Even my baby Nico's here. <laughs> We're putting it in his hair. But um, anyways, getting off track. Um, rosemary mint you boil it for 15 minutes you let it sit for like five minutes you put it in this little container I like it I like to wait for it to cool down like room temperature until I put it in the freezer but they say on TikTok that it's better to use this when it's cold some people put them on ice cubes on ice trays they put the rosemary that they made on um, ice trays and they rub it into their head until it melts into their head. I don't got time for that. I just do, do this. Put, put drops over. You have to soak your hair, you guys. Well, at least I think. Go on TikTok for a better explanation, you guys. But me, what has worked for me is I like to use, I like to soak my hair in it. Which I think that's what everybody should be doing. Put a lot of it and then you massage it in circular motions in your head. <laughs> but you massage it, massage it, massage it. And you gotta put it on your on your ends también. And I like to do it before I have to go to bed. Like an hour before I have to go to bed. Because I don't like to go to sleep with my hair wet. And that's another thing too you guys. I've have always liked to shower and go straight to bed especially if the sheets are freshly washed and you are freshly washed <laughs> and it's just so comfortable to just get into bed when you're freshly out the shower but no that's also bad for your scalp you need to let your hair if you want to lay down already just blow dry it in the cool in the cool um you know what i mean but when I put this on, I have to do it like an hour before I'm going to lay down because I also don't want my hair to be smelling like rosemary like the, uh, the rest of the other days if I do it. And I'm not consistent with it, you guys. Like I said, I've been on and off with this, like putting it in my hair. But when I do do it, I try to do it every other day or every day. Britt, that's sensitive with her skull, she does it, day, like say she'll do it today. No. Well, say she does it today, but she leaves it on for like an hour, and then she needs to get in the shower and wash it out. Me, I like to leave it overnight. I feel like it does its thing. But I'm pre everybody's different. Every whenever you have time to do it, however much you want to put it in, in your hair, there's no right or wrong. 
the more of it you put in your hair and the more consistent you are in putting this in your hair, the better results you will get. If you guys cannot find these, there's this bottle that I got at the dollar store, which is a headache, you guys. It is a headache to be doing this because it's a little spray thing and your finger does get tired of spraying, 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 spraying. So I do recommend if you guys can find these, get them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they sell, they sell anything on Amazon. Get them on Amazon. And also if you want to put them on ice trays and put ice cubes in your hair, it, the colder it is, the better it is. It like, I don't know. I see one of the girls talk about that it's better if it's cold. The colder you can aguantarlo, the better. It's actually a girl that has like this rolly thing. There's so many things on TikTok. I've been shopping on TikTok. You know what? Y'all yeah, know. Y'all yeah, know. Y'all yeah, have fun. Y'all yeah, know. But yeah, you guys. That's what I do to my hair. Also, if you do have the time and you want to be brushing your hair cada ratito, which is good for you. Look, I haven't even done anything. My hair is already tingled. This is why me and Brett carry a brush all the time because uh -uh, this is not cute. But anyways, you guys, if you guys, oh, I'm saying if you brush your hair out too, or if you, if you buy those, um, I don't even know what you call them, but it's like the, those scrub things that you do, that you buy to wash your face, they have some for your head, so when you, in the shower and you do circular motions to circulate and produce, um, butt, bl bud blood circulation in your scalp it'll improve health hair growth and other things you guys so like if you guys can go get a massage go get a massage también whatever you can do to promote hair growth let me know and i'll let you guys know but everything that you want to know you guys tiktok tiktok has everything i learned everything on tiktok but yeah yeah I don't want to make this video too long. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your girlies that have been wanting to get their hair goals. To get them links. Girlia. Let me know down below if you guys liked it. Or if not, go to my Snapchat as always. And let me know there. But yeah, you guys. The, the star of the video is Rosemary and Mint. Boiled. For 15 minutes. And let it sit for five minutes and put it in a container. Try to do it every day. If you can't do it every day, it's okay. Every other day is fine too. But yeah. Rosemary does really work. And here's proof. Because a few months ago, it was not cute. But yeah, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.